Hey guys, it's Teresa here with the Crafty Maven Getaway with Free Flow Wednesday. This is going to be our inspiration board for this week. It is amazing. I love the black and white, the ampersands, the bright colors, the triangles. So I'm going to do a layout for you guys today. I am a traditional 8.5 by 11 layout scrapbooker. This is the size that I tend to at all times. I love working with this size. So I'm going to show you guys a process video with me. Um we are going to layer up some paper. Now this was my second time doing this layout. So I had already backed this photo up with a couple picture or a couple papers. Now you're going to see some gold and that turquoise that were in those pillows. And I did a lot of black and white and I loved the black and white pop of color with like pops of color. I tend to do black and white in some of my layouts. A lot of the new collections have a lot of that black and white and I'm loving how it looks with like pops of color in between. So you're going to see me play around a little bit here. Um, I ended up putting, um, it's not halfway, but it's maybe a quarter of the way of a black and white triangle. So again, here I am bringing in those triangles um, and the black and white pattern. And I'm going to back that photo up with the Maggie Holmes. I believe that's from the confetti line. And it says happy birthday, but I cover that up. But you see that black and white diagonal um, pattern behind my picture. And I really like how that looks. So I'm just going to pull out a couple um, embellishments. Now, this was a cut file from Wilna. And it was one of the flower cuts. I'm in love with them. I think when I cut them, I cut like... 20 of them because I love using them on layouts. I love how it looks. You can use it with white paper and you can either keep it white, which is what I did because I wanted that to pop and have a contrast on that back of that black and white paper, or you can spray mist it and stuff. So I just kind of cut out a little bit because I played around with this for a long, long time. So I ended up going with these two little party hats. You don't have to have a birthday layout for it to go on. That's my opinion. I think it's cute. It's just like two little hats for me and my husband. I thought this would be a great little pick or a great little embellishment to add to the corner. And then I'm also using that thicker. Um, no, actually, that's a chipboard sticker and it says together. And at the bottom, I'm going to. No, wait, maybe I keep it as together. I'm trying to look at the layout. I'm not sure if I put anything else behind it. Now I'm going to play around with this bow. Oh, this darn bow. I think I've tried it with like three layouts and I never put it on a layout. I'm like, it just doesn't go with anything. So I will take it off. So you're going to see me fussy around with a few things for a while. And I did keep a little bit of this in. I didn't edit too much out. I just kind of sped up the process here a little bit. So you'll just see me playing around. That bow is going to be moved from side to side, but I'm going to end up not liking it. Now this was just a photo. It's about a, I think it's a three by four photo, but it's the longer way. Like it's a rectangle way instead of a square. And it is of myself and my husband. It was a beach day. We had two summer, no, last summer, was it last? I think it was last summer. We went to the beach and um, the sun was like right in our face, but I thought it'd be a cute picture with the water behind us. I mean, I look crazy looking, but he looks cute. So I'm just going to, this, that actual, that container at the side, it was actually just a bunch of pieces from the confetti line. And then there's a bunch of little pieces that I had brought to a crop that I went to recently. So it's just kind of a mumble jumble of things. So you're going to see me playing around here a little bit. And I'm going to try and tuck in that little um, flower from the confetti line from Maggie Holmes that I love. Sorry, my kids are home today, so you're going to hear them a little bit in the background. So I'm going to just keep playing with it. And I'm, I'm wanting to use that number two, but in the end, I don't use it either. I'm just going to put a little bit of tape down with my ATG gun and put that little flower down. Now, I didn't put a lot of adhesive on that, um, the, the Wilna cut, because I kind of wanted it to be, like, loose. Like, it's, it's put down, but I wanted it to be a little bit loose on the page, so it was kind of, like, not, I wouldn't say dimension, because it's flat, but just a little bit of texture. Like, it's not flat on the page. It's a little bit lifted up. And there's another two from that line. It's like, I wanted to use it, but I'm like, I didn't know where to put it in. I am probably the most fussiest scrapbooker. <laughs> I'm always like changing things or moving things around, which is why I edit my videos a lot because I tend to, um, I'm a really slow scrapbooker. So I tend to take things off, move it. I step away for a little bit, start again. So I'm just going back and forth with these embellishments. Also, while I'm doing this, free free flow Wednesday. I just wanted to give you guys a little idea. Um, 
So basically what it is, it's it's scrap your style, you know, like it's free flow. You do, you do what you do best, your traditional 12 by 12s, your eight and a half. And this is where it comes in handy because I love doing eight and a half by 11 videos, uh, process videos, layouts. I just love this size. Um, I'm a little bit intimidated by a 12 by 12. I used to do 12 by 12 back in the day, but I'm loving eight and a half by 11. And there's not too, too many people on YouTube that do it, but there's quite a few. So I think this is perfect to showcase what I like to do. So I'm just going to layer up. I think that actual, that vellum piece of paper was from the Maggie Holmes open book. And it's just like two pieces of vellum and then they put a, a gold sticker and they like sewed it in between. And I like the way it looks. Now this is just a little date um, label and this was from the Citrus Twist Kit of May. It was the May's main kit and it was a bunch of labels that I cut out. Now, I don't think I show it, but I end up writing the date in a black a marker. Um the date that this was. So I'm just going to fussy with that and kind of like layer it on top. I'm just going to fuss around and I'm thinking what can I keep? I wanted something in that bottom um, right hand corner where it's all blank. So I'm going to pull out my Tim Holtz stickers. They're my tiny stickers. I use them constantly on layouts and I've actually picked up another book because I use them so much. It comes in a white font with black writing and then a back font. No, I'm lying. It comes with a black font with white writing or white background and then a white font with black. So you can see it right here in the picture. If you get your hands on this, I'm telling you, you're going to want like three or four. These things are awesome and they're like a thick sticker. I love the way they look. So I look through them and I just kind of see what kind of, um, what kind of wording would go good. So I have like, I feel so lucky. Um, now I can't see cause my recording button, but there's a, it had a bunch of things like together forever or something like that. So this is very versatile. These, these fonts and these, uh, sentences, cause it's not just for like love. It's there's like everything like be brave, be strong. I love you. It's just a mix. And I think it's a great pack of stickers for anyone that does layouts or project life. Um, it's such a great sticker pack. So I highly, highly recommend that one. So now I'm just going to pack out or pick out some enamel dots to go on my page. I wanted some more pink to bring in that, um, the top of the little pom pom of the hat and the reinforcement on that tag that says yay. So this is from My Mind's Eye. It's the Chocolate Collection. And um, I've had these for quite a bit. I got them gifted to me. So I wanted to use some of those up. And I'm also going to grab the um, Heidi Swap Spray. And I'm going to splatter a bunch of black splatter on the top right-hand corner and the bottom right-hand corner. I believe it's right. When I'm looking at it, I'm pretty sure it's going to be my right side when you guys watch it. <laughs> so I'm just splattering just a little bit to give it a little bit of... Um, something up there because I felt like it was too plain and that is it I'm just going to do some close-ups and I'm also going to have a couple pictures of close-ups in the end so thank you guys so much for watching the crafty maven getaway channel I am super excited to be here today to do the free flow Wednesday and I hope you guys enjoy this video and definitely wait for Thursday there is another video being posted thanks again guys take care bye